Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. In this video today, I wanted to share with you guys my latest purchases or my haul from a little store known as, I should have made this a little bit more professional, All Saints. Let's get into it, but before we get started, my name is Neems. I do fashion on YouTube. I also have a vlog channel. The link is in the description box. Please make sure you like the videos that you watch if you like them because it really helps me out to know what types of videos you guys like and follow me on the vlog channel if you like and if you don't like just click off the video and see someone else tons of other youtubers out there first thing that I got was these these are their classic cigarette jeans so as you guys can see here this is known as the cigarette jeans they're really skinny but also they're not super skinny so they're the perfect like skinniness I guess if you will I got these in a dusty gray color and what I love about All Saints is very discreet but it has like its branding on the back of the jeans right here says All Saints on the back love this leather it's really great quality this time ever Bloomingdale's had a friends and family 25% off on anything like literally no exceptions and All Saints for the first time in like forever qualified for them so I jumped at it these were 25% off, definitely worth it. Like when I wear these, they stack so well. They don't lose their shape. They don't stretch out. Everything is amazing. So I've been obsessed with the cigarette skinny jeans from All Saints. So I didn't stop at one pair of jeans, but I went and then loved it so much. I also got it in this really, really dark wash. It's almost black, but it's not. It's kind of like a blue, blue black. I don't know if it's showing up well, but there's a, it's like really, really dark blue. I had not seen this shade anywhere. I have a lot of black denim, so my black denim wasn't a problem. I have the ones that I DIY'd with the paint splatters and the ripped ones. But I was like, this is such a good, like, something different. So again, as you guys can see, the cigarette. And I got this in a size 30. Um, just true to size. They are skinny. So they will be fitting skinny, but they're not like spray-on skinny. So here they are in this dark indigo blue. And so what color is missing? We have gray, we have like a blackish one. Obviously the classic denim jean color is missing, but this one isn't the cigarette. So here it is. Has some distressing. This one is actually called the pistol. So the branding of this is the pistol. I got these in a 28. These are not like the classic All Saints skinny fit. These are a little bit looser. They're meant to be a little bit more grungy. And I just love how heavy the denim is. The quality of them is amazing. Again, you have the All Saints branding on the back. Love the camel leather of this. And this one you can roll up like this as it is. So I decided I need to have like the three basic colors. So why not? the basic tees that I got and I just wanted really good quality basic tees that I could wear let's say if I'm going out to lunch somewhere a little bit fancy but not super fancy just to like look presentable I guess in casual settings so I got the All Saints basic black tee and um, this is kind of like a let me see if it has like a name no made in Portugal that's all it says but here it is let me see if I could quickly like try these on for you guys. Hold on for a second. Let me just remove my, because I'm gonna snap obviously, but sometimes denim shirts get in the way of my snapping powers and it doesn't work. So let me see if I can, let's see what we can do. So here it is, it is slim fitting. Now, a lot of you guys are mixed on this channel. A lot of you guys like me wearing slim fitting clothes, a lot of you guys like me wearing oversized clothes. Personally, I like both styles, so I decided with the All Saints stuff, I wanted things that are fitted and kind of hug my body tightly, as opposed to like oversized shirts, because I have so many of those, so I went with, so as you guys can see here, I'm rambling. It's like an aged fabric, it sits so nice, it's so comfortable, I love that the color is like this. You could just feel the difference. Just notice that it has these little like patches, suede patches at the bottom and um, as you guys can see it kind of has this like reverse it look kind of looks inside out that i got i also got the same one in this charcoal kind of looks the same but as you guys can tell it's a charcoal color this is one of my favorite colors especially for this coming season so let's try on the charcoal one so here it is loving this as well it's an aged fabric again kind of like has the distressing um 
But yeah, that's basically it. So the next shirt that I got, obviously you need a white shirt, but when I saw this, I literally kind of like said, wow, I need this. And it's this, it's basically just a white t-shirt. Well, ecru bone off-white color the way this sits is really nice and it's super thin and see-through really breathable all saints made in portugal by the way all these shirts i got in a size medium a size small would be just my shoulders are bigger proportional to my like length i know i'm shaped weird but i um a small would have just been too tight on the shoulders see this hem right here it falls right where it's supposed to fall for like a slim shirt but let me try on the white one as well put it here and here it is beautiful beautiful eggshell color beautiful fabric it's linen it's cotton it has a little bit of silk in it it's aged so it's like a, it's like the perfect basically it's like a 30 year old vintage white t-shirt without any logos or branding which makes it timeless which makes it I can wear it with anything that I want and that's what I that's what I'm finding that I loved. I love the whole rock band tee and the look of it and everything. But after a while, like how many times can you repeat a rock band tee, really? Like you could wear it with jeans, you could wear it with khakis, maybe wear it with shorts one time. But if you keep showing up with the same rock tee, but how timeless is a white shirt that fits you well, that's aged, that's vintage, and I'm obsessed over it. The last one, I wanted to talk about the shoes, which was a major purchase. I bought this at the actual All Saints store. Shout out to all the people that helped me there, and they were like, are you filming for fun? And I was like, no, filming for YouTube. And hopefully, they took down my information, and if you're watching, hello to you guys. Thank you so much. But these shoes, when I saw them first, I died these before, but now it's in more detail. But here they are. I'm obsessed over them. Hopefully you guys are too. It's this the charcoal gray suede crepe combat military boot. Let me give you actually the name of it, the full name of it. It is the moth boot. I actually like that name better than the one I gave it. So here it is. The moth boot. And what I love about this thing is that first of all, I love gray suede like this, charcoal suede. I love all the details that it has, like look how beautiful this is, like all this like craftsmanship that went into the, the laces. I like to wear it two ways, I like to lace it all the way up so it constricts, or I like to leave it loose and kind of just like slip on into it. I love that it's a crepe boot so it makes it a little bit more casual, and um, here's the other pair, and it comes with a different set of laces, I just like found this out setting up to tell you guys about it with the brown kind of like brown black lace which would look really cool within maybe for springtime to kind of make them a little less dark but I just love how these are these have become my obsession and when I say obsession because the shoe becomes my obsession ooh, we need to remove this tagging here safety pin okay and something becomes my obsession when I like want to wear it every single day sometimes I have to like stop myself from wearing these and they smell like nice suede loving these all saints you're killing me here. you're killing me okay guys so that was my haul from all saints i know it doesn't it's not very like impressive i guess but it's what we have at the moment for like i just wanted to stick with basics i wanted to i don't know why i'm changing right in front of you guys so i have to edit that out Note to Nemes, edit this out. Don't put it in. Sometimes I just like transfer some of the memory card material to the editing, like Final Cut Pro without like watching some of it. I'm like, no, 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 it's good. Keep it raw, keep it like unedited and then stuff like this. So if it ends up on the computer. But anyways, I got, I stuck with basics because I just feel like if you're spending all that money, it's stupid to buy like a graphic tee from All Saints. You wear it once and then you're over it. I can wear this t-shirt a thousand times. It does the same thing the graphics won't do, but it's just really timeless. Let me know if you agree, if you like the purchases, that I make good choices. Please remember that everything I got was 25% off. This whole thing with the shoes and everything came to a... Well, the shoes weren't 25% off. The shoes I bought at the store, but the Bloomingdale stuff came to a really good price. I, I had no idea about it, so thank you so much. Thanks so much, guys. I love all of you. I love when you 
tag me on Instagram, when you send me Snapchats, I try to respond to everything. If I don't, it's because I'm overwhelmed because I also go to school and editing and vlog. Like the vlog channel, I'm trying to do daily vlogs. So yeah, just wanted to check in with you guys in that regard too. Thumbs up if you like this video and until next time, peace.